Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, this video, I just want to talk a little bit about becoming a notary public in your area, in your state. Some people may have thought about what it's like to be a notary or what it all involves as far as becoming a notary. It really is very simple steps to becoming a notary. Now, there are basic requirements for each state, but beyond that, each state has their own uh, requirements or things, rules that you would follow. And so what I'm going to do is go on the National Notary Association's website, and it will show me um, everything that you need to become a notary, and it has it broken down by state as well. So before I get into everything, remember you don't have to wait until the end of the video to get the thumbs up to like it, and as well as hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, I thank you and I appreciate you. And remember to um, share this with someone they may have been thinking about becoming a notary as a side hustle, as their main employment or self-employment, um, but make sure you share with someone. So let's get into this website, the National Notary Association. And what I'm going to do, um, it's uh, nationalnotary.org is the website name, nationalnotary.org. And what I'm going to do is show you at the top of here where it has a drop down where you can pull up your particular state. And I just chose the first state, Alabama, just to um, put a state in there. But um, that gives you the option of the to give you the requirements for every state that um, you would want to look up. So first, I'm going to talk about becoming a notary. And I'm going to go into over on the right, it has Knowledge Center. And I'm going to go into Notary Basics. And that's going to tell us what the basic um, requirements are for becoming a notary. And if anyone wants to know what is a notary, I'll just um, go in, what is a notary public? A notary public is an official of integrity appointed by state government, typically by the Secretary of State, to serve the public as an impartial witness in performing a variety of official fraud deterred acts related to the signing of important documents. So that's the basics. Um, regardless of the state, um, they will all require these four things um, that you be at least 18 years old, a, res a resident of the U.S. as well as a resident of that state, no felony record, and um, you can read and write English. And then it says, then I'm going to go and look for, I'm going to go and look for how to become a notary and click that on a step-by-step. -step. Okay, how to become a notary public. Um, while procedures differ from state to state, the general steps to become a notary are Make sure you meet all state qualifications. And if you want to just go into your state um, instead of going through uh, this particular website, you can go to um, yourparticularstate.gov. And what I did to um, locate mine, I just put in the search bar, Note of Republic, and it brings up all of that information. Uh, make sure you meet all of your state's qualifications, complete and submit an application, pay the state's filing fee, get trained from an approved education vendor if that's necessary, pass a state administer exam if that's necessary, complete fingerprinting and background check if necessary, receive your commission cert uh, certificate from the state, Get your surety bond if that's necess necessary. Found your commission paperwork and bond with your notary regulating official. Buy your notary supplies. All right. And then it says step-by-step -step instructions. And this is where you can select the state there as well. And I'm not going to go into it right there. 
some of the opportunities you could have um, as far as being a notary public, um, you could have your own side business or like I said, a full-time business. You could, um, some people do the mobile notary business where um, you would advertise your notary business and go wherever people need you to go to um, sign the documents that they need you to notarize. Um, also, you could be a healthcare facility notary. And what I'll do for the healthcare facility notary, I will leave a video in the description box. And that video um, is for the National Notary Association, um, has a video of a training um, and what the process is to become a healthcare facility notary and also a title company notary. Um, you could become, and I'll leave a link to a video for that training um, or that information as well. Um, you could uh, be a notary for your job. Um, banks uh, require notaries um, as well as other financial institutions, um, mortgage companies, those types of um, those types of companies require a notaries on staff as well. A couple of other areas you could use um, the notary public um, credentials is as an officiate for weddings or a process server. And I'm going to go into a signing agent because that's one area that you can use your notary public uh, credentials. Uh, in loan signing. So a loan signing agent, certification, everything you need to know to confidently oversee um, loan signings. And this is for Alabama again. And what it's going to do is says how it works. Um, choose your package. Training is recommended but not required. Get certified, successful completion, successfully complete all items in your package and market your services, get your first assignment through signingagent.com. And that's something that you can sign up for uh, by putting your information there. So when someone is looking for an agent in your area, they can see you there. And I'm going to go into become a signing agent. Uh, with a signing agent, it's just saying you have to already be a notary in order to become a signing agent. So your first step is to go through the process of being a notary public. And then um, choose, choose your signing agent package. They have three different plans. NSA background screen only, basic NSA certification, or complete NSA certification. An NSA is meaning uh, notary signing agent. So if you want to go that route, you would pick which category you want to be in. Um, I personally would go all the way with the complete NSA certification, but if you don't want that, that's fine. You don't have to, it is not required, um, but you do have to do the NSA background screen what will be included in that is background screening, criminal background check, social security number will be required for that. Uh, notary signing agent exam, uh, one year signing agent.com top tier, uh, top tier listing. All right, so one year signing agent.com top tier listing. Now the one year signing agent.com priority listing is only under the bare minimum um, check mark. Certified notary signing agent online training course, downloadable NSA exam study guide, notary essentials training, the notary signing agent's loan document source book, loan signing prep sheets, signing agent log. And that is $285 if you want to um, go that route. And the basic is 208 and the bare minimum requirement is $75. Uh, NSA certification designation is accomplished by successfully completing the NNA background screening and achieving a score of 80% or higher on the NNA notary signing agent exam. The NSA certification designation will be displayed on signingagent.com for 12 months after the background screening 
past date. And listing on signingagent.com gets your name in front of the nation's leading title and service companies. Title and service companies search the signingagent.com directory and or download names and related information into their internal systems. All right. Um, NSA certifications and background screenings are available only to residents of the 50 United States and districts of Columbia, not for customers in U.S. territories of Puerto Rico, North Mariana Islands, United States Virgin Islands, or American Samoa, Guam, and minor outlying, outlying islands. All right, so that is if you want to be a signing agent and um, that could be a very lucrative um, opportunity. Um, let's look at the supplies that you would need. And for Alabama, again, we're on that state. I'm not sure if all states have the same. I did go into one or two other states and it had this same type of stuff. Uh, stamps and embossers, notary journals, electronic notary products, business supplies, notary handbooks, notary books, notary certificates, security and privacy, member exclusive discounts, NNA branded products. And you can order that package um, through Alabama. Uh, required. Your uh, required Alabama notary supplies. Alabama notaries are required to get a $25,000 notary surety bond and seal stamp. So you would look at your particular state and see if they require that same thing or something different. All right. And also I'll look on other sites to see if some of these some of these items are available um, somewhere else, um, if they are, I will link leave a link there. Um, the prices for them may be um, cheaper, depending on where you get them. But I will be glad to take a look at other places and leave the link there for you. All right, insurance and bonds. All right, notary bonds and insurance. Um, protect yourself from an unintentional mistake or false claim with notary E and O insurance. And the E and O means error and um, omission. Um, this is for like if you make a mistake and someone wants to um, sue you, um, you would have that insurance to protect yourself. Get a full. Protect yourself as little as $2 a month with a notary ENO policy. A notary ENO insurance is your protection should you make an innocent mistake or a false claim is filed against you. Your Alabama required notary surety bond is protection for the public against any misconduct, misconduct on your behalf. We offer protection for both. And then the uh, the state requires the notary surety bond, and that is $25,000 um, bond in order to protect the public financially from the possibility of a negligent mistake or intentional misconduct. All right. And you can click there if, um, to get the bond, uh, get your Alabama, Alabama notary bond. You can click right there. All right. And training and education. You can perform remote and electronic notarization training. This course is designed to provide instructions on performing remote online notarizations and electronic notarizations with confidence. And that's another uh, route you can take as well. Um, the online notary. It's called uh, Remote, R-O-N, Remote Online Notary. And with the Remote Online Notary, um, I'm just going to go in and uh, so you can see what is a remote online notarization. 
uh, with remote notarization, a signer personally appears before the notary at the time of notarization using audio visual technology over the internet instead of being physically present in the same room. Remote online notarization is also called webcam notarization. Online notarization or virtual notarization. And then it says electronic notarization or e-notarization involves documents that are notarized in electronic form. And the notary and document signer sign with an electronic signature, but all other elements of a traditional paper notarization apply to elect electronic notarization, including the requirements for the signer to physically appear before the notary. And so this is when people get the um, remote notarization confused with uh, electronic notarization or e-notarization. The confusion, confusion arises from the fact that remote notarizations typically involve digital documents that are signed and notarized electronically. However, they go a step further in that the transaction is conducted online rather than in person. And there's not all states uh, allow remote notarization. And here's a list of the states that does. There's only 43 states currently that has passed remote notarization laws. All right. And there's a lot of other questions on the each of these categories that you can look through. Um, if you may have that question, um, the answer may be there for you. There is a renew, um, renew process for a notary. Uh, you would check with your state to see how often that has to happen, but there is a process where your um, certification or your status could expire and you want to make sure that stays renewed and up to date. So guys, that is the gist of it. Um, that's the basics as far as becoming a notary public. Um, again, you can go to this website or you can go to your state's website. That will be whatever your state is, .gov, and look up Notary Public, and they will allow you to go through that process. You'll have access to the form you need to fill out, or you can go to this um, site and just pick your state at the top, and everything you need access to will be available here as well. So I hope this information will help you and help answer any questions that you may have had or giving you directions to where you can find the answers. So again, I thank you for clicking on the video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave and hit that subscribe button. You guys have a wonderful day and I will leave the links to those two videos in the description box. So don't forget to look those up and they are for healthcare facility notary and title company notary. You guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.